Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. This is Dinner Fried Dinner Steak here with some Warhammer lore. Today we're going to read Krokgar's origin stories. This is every bit of information I can find compelled from the current battle books and Wikipedia pages. So sit back and relax and do enjoy. Krokgar, the last defender of Exotol, is an ancient story of old blood last of the source warriors from the ruined sand temple city of Exotol. The spawning that brought Krokgar into the world produced a handful of other sauruses, each to mark for greatness. With instinctive battle cunning, these warriors were unsurpassed by any other of their kind, and each possessed an innate dominion over the native beasts of the jungle. Krokgar's spawning coincided with the rearing of a brood of mighty carnosaurs, and he claimed the largest and most ferocious of his own. Krokgar had served his temple city for only a few centuries when the great catastrophe occurred. Although Krokgar and his spawn kin fought many epic battles and destroyed an entire army of demons, the never-ending onslaught eventually caused the defenders to take refuge within their temple city of Exotol. There, the magical barriers of the mage priest saved them for a time, but unfortunately they eventually collapsed. Taking advantage of a surge of uncontrolled energy, demons manifested themselves inside the temple city, butchering the slain before Krokgar could ride to their aid. So the full power of chaos swarmed over Exotol. Although his temple city was in ruins, Krokgar and the surviving army fought their way out. Buoyed by their own range and the last blessing of their mage priests, in route to their freedom they sent many daemons back to the abyss. For centuries thereafter, Krokgar carried on a running battle in the jungle, the last army of Exotol dwindling around him. By the time the elves enacted their great ritual, only Krokgar and his ageless carnosaur Grimlock remained. It was the great Lord Mazd Mundi, high slain mage priest of Hex Azadal, that summoned Krokgar to his temple city, choosing him to lead the great source armies that remained. Mazd Mundi gifted Krokgar with the ancient artifact known as the Hand of God, which he could sear the flesh from his enemy bones. Hence why one of Krokgar's arms is completely gold. Since that day, Mazumuni has assigned Krokgar the sacred task of exterminating those creatures not part of the Old One's great plan. Over his long existence, Krokgar has fought many wars, leading the armies of Hagsadol or joining other hosts to aid them in battle. There is no continent in which Krokgar and Grimlock have not fought, but for the last defender of Exodol, the battle is not over.